What's going on everybody? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button into submission and smash that bell. If you enjoy this video, slap the like button like a pimp. We've got Eric Shelton versus Gerard Brooks and this one is going to be a fantastic flyweight fight that has got a lot of potential to be a fireworks galore with this as Showtime Shelton is 10 and 3 Gerard Monkey God Brooks is 12 and 0 he's perfect with that monkey god business going on what kind of monkey is his god I'm not sure if it's a gorilla or something else that he praises as a god a monkey god very interesting stuff we have there both men have quite the very similarities as Eric he has got two wins by KO five by submission one triangle choke two rear naked chokes, a guillotine, and an armbar. So if he gets that neck, he's likely to choke you out. But then when we go over to Brooks the Monkey God, he's got two wins by KO as well, and five submission victories. And he has three rear naked chokes, an arm triangle, and undisclosed submission. What is that submission they're hiding from us that's undisclosed? I want to know. So... Uh, you know, Brooks has one more rear neck choke than Shelton Showtime, so that is going to be an intriguing and interesting thing when it comes down to it. Both men have got five wins by decision. No, um, Shelton has three wins by decision, and Brooks has five wins by decision. Did I say that correct? Now, Showtime has lost three times by decision. He's never been finished in his pro career. He lost his UFC debut at UFC on Fox 23 by split decision. He did have a uh, good showing in the 24th season of The Ultimate Fighter, where he won two fights and then lost to Tim Elliott, who went on to win the whole thing, but then lost when he went against Dimitri Johnson for the championship. Now, Brooks, he has got a perfect record, and his last fight came at Prankerius 281. Now, he is making his UFC official debut as he has not landed in the UFC yet. He was at World Series of Fighting uh, in the past as well. He's fought all over the globe, uh, you know. I am going to be going with Gerard Brooks, the monkey god, to win this one by submission in the first round and be the first man to finish Eric Shelton in his pro career. Eric Shelton hasn't been finished yet, and I believe we're going to see history made in multiple fights at UFC 214, and this will be the first one where Brooks will submit Shelton, and he'll do it in the first round in epic fashion as he's got all that monkey business going around with those arms and legs of his. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me or disagree with me on my prediction here with UFC 214 with the flyweights of Eric Shelton versus Gerard Brooks? Let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with me or disagree with me. Thanks for watching. Combat sports is awesome, and you guys are amazing.